Hey, welcome to Mad English TV. What is this? Do you know what it's called? In this lesson, I'm going to teach you bathroom vocabulary. Okay? This is called a plunger. And you use it if your toilet gets clogged. That's a really bad thing, right? If your toilet gets clogged, you have to take a plunger and unclog it. Okay? Um, so this is called a toilet brush. And this room, what's it called? Well, it can be called a lot of different things. It can be called a bathroom, a restroom, a washroom, a toilet, a loo, the john. Okay, it can be called the john. Now, in Canada, we usually use this word here, washroom. Um, and in the UK, they use the word loo. And a very casual way to describe this is the john. Okay, so the john is just sort of I don't know, maybe friends would use it with each other. So a polite way to say it, if you're at someone's house, you could say, could I use your bathroom? That's very nice and polite. But like I said, if you're at your friend's house and it's a casual situation, you could just say, hey, I need to use the John. Okay, I don't know why it's called the John, because that's a nice name. That's People are named John. So <laughs> it's a little bit disrespectful to people named John to name the bathroom after after them. I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. So when you're in the bathroom, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to go poo or pee. So you could say, I need to go pee or I need to go poo. Now there's a lot of different words we can also use for these things. For example, poop, crap, dung, shit, a dump, feces, a bowel movement, Okay, pee, piss, leak, urine. Now, in an official setting, like if, if you're at a doctor, the medical words for this is urine and bowel movement or feces, okay? Those are sort of your official words, but the rest of these words are just for like normal people, okay? Now, for some reason, we use the verb take when we talk about doing a lot of things in the bathroom, okay? For example, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to take a dump. I'm going to take a piss. That's interesting. Why do we use the verb take when we're not taking anything, we're leaving something behind, right? It doesn't make any sense, but this is English. English doesn't make sense. So this is called toilet paper, and there's a debate in our culture whether the toilet paper should come off the front of the roll or off the back of the roll. So what do you think? I want you to let me know in the comments right down there which is better. Do you think it should come off the front of the roll or the back of the roll? How do they do it in your culture? Is one way more, um, like, polite? or something like that. Sometimes people, like in our culture, they say it's better if it comes off the front because it's easier. And then some people say, well, no, it's more proper if it comes off, comes off the back. Personally, I don't really care, but it, it makes sense if it comes off the front because then you can grab it easier, right? So my, probably my preference would be to have it come off the front, but I don't know. Anyway, I want you to let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Now, this is called a toilet, and here we have a toilet seat, and this is the toilet lid, okay? So, usually when I'm over at someone's house, um, like if I'm visiting them, I it's a polite thing to close the lid. Like, I always, after I'm finished using the bathroom, I close the lid. Now, obviously, it's if you're a man, it's good to lift up the seat when you go pee. So you'll hear a mother, maybe a mother will tell her son, did you remember to lift up the seat? And then after he's finished, in our culture, you should put the seat back down. Okay, but like I said, if I'm over at someone else's house, I put the seat down and I also put the lid down. Maybe that's just me, I'm not sure. So when you're finished using the bathroom, you need to flush. And after you flush, you're going to wash your hands. So you go to the sink, 
to wash your hands. Now, this is called a tap. So to wash your hands, you turn on the tap, and then after you're finished washing your hands, you turn off the tap, okay? Now, this is a bathtub. If you wanna take a bath, you sit in the bathtub, and this is called a shower. What do you take? Do you take baths or showers? Personally, I always take showers. Sometimes I take baths. In Canada, most mostly in, in people's homes, they have a bathtub and then the shower sort of on top. So like in my apartment, um, I could take baths, but I never do. I take them really, really rarely or occasionally. Maybe I'll take like two baths a year. Hey, mostly I just take showers. Um, so this is called a shower curtain. You pull the shower curtain closed before you take a shower so that water doesn't spread out over your whole bathroom. Okay, now when you take a shower, you're probably gonna use some product for your hair, okay? Like you could use shampoo or you could use conditioner. Um, to be honest, I don't really even know what conditioner is, but most women, I think, use conditioner. I just use shampoo. So, like, I, th I don't even know if men use conditioner. Maybe some men use conditioner, but like I said, I don't really know what it's, what it's for. I just use shampoo. And then what for the body, for washing your body, you could use soap or body wash, okay? Now, this is called a drain. So if you want to take a bath, you need to plug the drain. So you take the plug, the rubber plug, and you plug it, and then you fill up the bathtub and you take a bath. And then when you're finished taking a bath, you unplug the drain and let the water drain down. So drain can be a noun or a verb. This thing is called the drain, but also when water goes down there, it's called draining the water. Okay, now when you're finished taking a bath, you're gonna dry yourself off using a bath towel. And when you finish washing your hands, you're gonna dry your hands off using a smaller towel called a hand towel. Okay, now, these things that you use to clean your ears, they're called Q-tips. Personally, I always Q-tip my ears after I shower. What about you? Do you use Q-tips? Also, when you're in the bathroom, you'll probably shave, okay? Uh, you can shave with a shaver. This can be called a shaver or a razor. Okay, and if you, if you shave, you're probably going to use shaving cream, unless you use an electric shaver, okay? Then you don't use shaving cream, you just turn it on and you shave, okay? So I wanna know, do you use an electric shaver or a razor when you shave? Let me know in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.